Okay. In the second part of chapter one, we will discuss about energy law, thermodynamics law, and gas law, sensible and latent heat and enthalpy. So every subtopic will be related to the uh, hashback system. Uh, maybe it's not the first time for you to, to, hear, to hear heard about the energy law, thermodynamic law, gas law, sensible and latent heat, enthalpy. Uh, then what we want to concern about this topic eh, in the hashback system. So the objective uh, in this chapter, I mean uh, in this uh, uh, class. So the first one maybe we will achieve. The first is that you can explain the basic concept that we make, such as a system, state, state postulate, equilibrium, process and uh, cycle. And then the second one, maybe you can uh, achieve about introduce the concept of energy and define its various forms, and then discuss the nature of internal energy, and define the concept of heat and terminology associated with the energy transfer by heat. Okay, uh, we go first uh, in the first topic, yeah, thermodynamics and energy. Eh? So the thermodynamics is the science of energy. So how to we try to the uh, utilize the energy from other form to other form. But as we know, energy cannot be destroyed and then it cannot be created. That's the first of law thermodynamics. Yeah? So the conservation of our energy. Uh, for example, we try to utilize yeah? Uh, energy electrical uh, to our consume in the residence house and then we try to uh, convert or eh, uh, transform from the electrical into maybe we want to use to uh, mechanical uh, like to uh, uh, move the uh, fan and also we try to uh, maybe turn on the icon and also maybe we try use to other activity uh, maybe some uh, house uh, using electrical for the stuff uh, uh, for cooking cooking it so convert or transform from electrical into the uh, heat energy eh? or thermal energy. So the what the meaning the energy itself, the ability of the cause change. Eh? The name thermodynamics stem from the Greek word term or heat eh? and dynamic of power. So the heat can be used to uh, uh, utilize in the uh, what we call uh, uh like the cooking or eh? uh, the mechanical work eh? so so this one the, we call the thermodynamic so energy itself is we can change the ability to cause change eh? maybe from the uh, mechanical uh, we try to remove uh, something uh, from the position a to position b then we change the something or we change the temperature also by using uh, energy. So, what the conservation of energy principle during an interaction energy and uh, can change from the one form to another, but the total amount of energy remain constant. So, when we transform actually from other kind of the energy to uh, other form of the energy, actually we uh try to uh, maintain the number of energy <coughs> so for example uh maybe we use utilize the power electric in total 200 2000 uh watt yeah? and then we try to use uh maybe for a water heater yeah? Uh, or we try to the 
uh, boil uh, the water from that power in reaching from electrical to uh, thermal with the same uh, number of uh, energy. So this one we call conservation of energy. So, so <coughs> sorry, for example, maybe for uh, <coughs> uh, for example for uh, <coughs> air conditioning, so we try to utilize electrical power, maybe uh, one horsepower, uh, maybe uh, of the energy uh, refrigeration uh, of the ecosystem, and then we convert it uh, into the uh, change the temperature. Uh, okay. As I mentioned before, the first law of thermodynamics yeah, is creation of conservation energy. So energy cannot be created and then cannot be the destroyed. Okay, the second law of thermodynamics is accept the energy has quality as well as quantity. And actual process occur in the direction of decreasing quality of energy. Actually, the second law of thermodynamics relate to efficiency. So when we utilize the energy from electrical, for example, using for ecosystem in one house power, and then the utilizing one house power should be we receive eh, the energy in the temperature should be uh, maybe uh, less or not maximal in the 100% we can utilize one horsepower in the temperature maybe we have a uh, only little bit differentiate eh, from the supplying one horsepower compared to the what we utilize in the temperature maybe not more uh, 90% eh? uh, sorry uh, maybe 99% uh, not more than uh, number. Uh, that one we call related to the uh, law of thermodynamics. The so the quality as well as the quantity. So what we uh, receive as quality of the product, okay? so we send the quantity what the supply energy uh, we uh, utilize. The statistical thermodynamic a microscopic approach. This one is a uh, more detail in the chemical reaction eh, in the uh, in the scale of micro uh, uh, scale. So, for example, how we to use the uh, RON eh, RON 95 compared to RON 97, uh, RON 100. That one is more into the statistical thermodynamic so the content of chemical inside uh, maybe will produce a uh, higher of energy this one is uh, uh, in the micro uh, uh, scale another example if we relate to the refrigeration system is related to the the refrigerant itself so different type of refrigerant uh, like at the R12, R something. Eh? Uh, so maybe the quality is the same, like the maybe we will use the ammonia uh, as a refrigerant. So it's one we call in the microscopic approach or in the statistical thermodynamic energy. Eh? So form of energy <coughs> inside of the Hashback system, we will implement in the internal energy. Internal energy will be maybe contained by refrigerant system eh? and then kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is by flow of the refrigerant system or the com uh, flow of the air flow in the uh, hashback system uh, like the even we implement in the duct system uh, that uh, relate to the what we 
go on to the analyze energy in the health system. Another potential energy, potential energy is uh, more in the mechanical like pump, fan, blower, anything. Eh? So this one is the uh, balancing energy uh, that uh, will implement or occur in the hazardback system. For example, in the dark system, uh, so we will uh, calculate the mass rate, uh, mass flow rate, anything. So mass flow rate should be uh, balanced uh, within the outlet and the inlet. As we know, the hatchback system should be designed in the uh, pot. Uh, in the room system, should be contain uh, uh, maintain the constant uh, volume inside here. For example, me, we have the inlet here, and then outlet. So the outlet will control the volume inside of my room. So if the volume is constant, it mean me will be in the safe condition or uh, in the health condition because the air supply to me and then I will uh, they will take the uh, what we, we uh, make a, a waste of the uh, the air like me we will be produce the uh, CO2, so maybe we will be absorbed by the outlet and then we'll be bring to the outside. And then they will supply another oxygen to me and they give me to, from the inlet. Uh, so that uh, relate to the uh, balancing of mass flow rate. So mass flow rate uh, should be in the balance uh, from the inlet to the outlet. If not, my room, if the I will feel uh, in the negative pressure, so we will be absorb other pressure from the outside, so it's not safe. So because will be a supply from the uh, open system, so open system with a filter is dangerous to the to the occupants. Huh? So this one is mass uh, flow rate, huh? mass flow rate. Then the energy balancing. So energy balancing from the inlet uh, to the outlet should be similar. So the number of energy is to be similar. So uh, we call uh, balancing energy. That one is related to the uh, the first uh, law of thermodynamic. So the form of energy. Uh, we, even uh, the different type, different form of energy, so be the number is similar in joule or joule per time, eh? joule per second. Uh, so be similar to the uh, to to our produce to our side. Sorry. So we we'll continue to the next slide. I hope you can follow me. Anybody uh, can interrupt me if you want to ask something from the slide, from the this uh, topic. So this one is uh, energy balance, what I mentioned before. So energy uh, enter the system, total energy leaving should be uh, change. Yeah? in the balance <coughs> so this one right eh, position of uh, inside of the uh, uh, every room uh, condition same here yeah, mechanism of uh, energy uh, balancing eh, or to be calculate Okay, uh, today we in the hatchback system, we also implement the uh, system, uh, the condition of system, 
and then the surrounding of our system and then also boundary so uh, in my room condition you can consider a system and then so outside my room consider as the surrounding and then the wall is considered so boundary so the boundary is uh, separating yeah, within the outside surrounding within the system so the same like the the has back itself uh, has back itself we have a, a system one system uh, one system uh, enclosed system so the outside of the pipe cannot be uh, effect or uh, influence uh, into the inside of the the pipe uh, can be considered as dark uh, uh, in the air supplying uh. so should be we try to make a system so we try to the, make a boundary uh, the dark and if we are possible we try to the cover the dark maybe by the protector heat protector so that we keep the energy efficiency eh? <coughs> so in the uh, dark system we consider to the closed system but when we open the boundary like we open the door or we open the something to the surrounding we call the open system so the air can be uh, access into the uh, uh, mess of or the air because we uh, discuss about the uh, refrigeration system so consider to the the air system so the air is uh, consider uh, open if we try to uh, make yeah, the boundary uh, open uh, from the surrounding into the uh, a system. Anybody want to ask me? Hello? Are you here? So far, so good, sir. Oh, so far, so good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anyway, anything else? Uh, anybody want to ask? No? No, no. So, actually, uh, okay, actually, what we uh, consider in the hashback system uh, uh, to make the system in the constant, or we try to uh, variate, or we try to uh, setting what we want to uh, measure, what we want to keep it, what we want to be changed. So actually, this one is we call uh, the properties. So what one we <coughs> control is the properties. We can control the temperature. This one is properties. We want to co to control the volume. Uh, maybe we want to supply more air. <coughs> Sorry. We want to supply more air. Then one we call the mass uh, mass control mass flow rate. So this one we call the properties. So we have the mass eh, want to control, volume, temperature, uh, pressure, and density. Uh, this one we can control to make uh, certain uh, condition. Okay. Okay. Then. Never mind about the what the extensive properties, what the intensive properties. Uh, this one the. the only for our knowledge eh, when we some uh, term eh, mentioned in the thermodynamic system so, so we understand the intensive why is that eh, by intensive why is that eh. so intensive is that those are independent of the mass of the system and then extensive those was value depend on the size so different different value to uh, measure one is for mass, one is the size. So, in the size, we call it uh, For the mass uh, measurement, is about intensity. 
uh, this one uh, in the state uh, equilibrium uh, a term eh? uh, what we call we call the uh, state equilibrium what uh, uh, when we call the uh, thermal equilibrium what the mechanical equilibrium so this one this term eh? term in we should be understand uh, uh, as system so equilibrium what the equilibrium uh, balancing eh? So in the thermal, there are temperature uh, equilibrium. So entire system, the temperature is the same. And the mechanical is the change in pressure at any point to the screen. So change eh, by time in the pressure. So the phase equilibrium is involved two phase. And when the mass is phase reach the equilibrium level. <coughs> okay. Uh, this one this is the ideal gas system. Eh? So ideal gas system, we will implement the formula PV, MRT. Uh, so some we use the uh, PV uh, equal to RT. Eh? So P is pressure, V is volume. If we consider the star volume, maybe a specific, uh, uh, specific volume, so this one, this one is the uh, uh, super M. So V is a super M. So we should be add the PV equal to M uh, mass, uh, mass MRT. If you want to the use the specific volume, uh, specific volume. So without without the uh, M. So in the small V. If you find in the uh, formula ideal gas with the capital V, this will be at the MRT. So PV equal to MRT. So V in the uh, capital uh, the size V is considered the volume. So different. Eh? V small is specific volume. So V dot M, PV equal to RT. So specific volume we can use if we have the data from the table so if we consider this uh, gas is the air so should be uh, refer to the table air if this consider the v is for the refrigerant uh, uh, you should be mentioned what uh, refrigerant will be implement so consider uh, temperature by temperature you can uh, uh, find the uh, specific volume inside of the table based on the temperature if not if we have a volume so by by mass eh? so, so pv equal to mrt so r itself is the <coughs> gas constant gas constant uh, Depend, uh, depend uh, what gas we will use. And then uh, if you use the uh, M, uh, molar mass. Uh. Okay, this one is the uh, uh, volume or the uh, mass flow rate uh, balancing or energy balancing. For the balancing, uh, <coughs> so energy balancing uh, formula, if the condition uh, occur in one the system, so we can consider uh, various uh, various of uh, form of the energy, a thermal here, uh, mechanical here, by W. And then the energy, another uh, like the energy, uh, maybe supply eh, by energy of uh, potential uh, or kinetic here, yeah, uh, something like that. Okay, now uh, we are already in the sensible and uh, latent heat. Eh? So have you heard about the latent heat? Anybody? 
maybe you can uh, give a uh, example maybe anybody what is the latent hit okay you can see it uh, from the slide actually the amount of energy is over or released during phase change what the phase change meaning Anybody can be uh, idea to another? When from a liquid to solid or yes. gas? Yes, correct. So you are, yes, Muhammad. Uh, you are from the Bangladesh, right? No, no I'm Chu. Yeah, uh, Chu. Okay, thank you, Chu. I thought you are from Bangladesh. Okay. Two, you are correct. So actually, the latent heat is uh, we try to uh, energy absorb energy to change the uh, phase condition. Eh? For example, we change the, from solid to the liquid or liquid to uh, to gas eh? or vapor. So this energy we call the uh, latent heat. Okay, so the latent heat efficient is more, more specific. So we try to utilize this energy for melting. So from the solid into the liquid. So we call latent heat efficient. Latent heat for vapor, we try to change from the liquid into the gas. We call latent heat of evaporation. Yeah? So the energy, one atmospheric pressure, the latent heat of fusion, this one, is around uh, 330.7 uh, kilojoule per kilogram. Uh, for the vaporized, and this one is for, actually for uh, water, uh, water. This one table is for water. Okay, uh, how to calculate the latent heat of fusion? Uh, the specific latent heat of fusion of solid is defined as amount of heat energy required to change one kilogram of the solid to liquid or vice versa without any change in the temperature. So by LF or uh, latent heat of fusion LF equal to Q is the thermal energy and over to M. M is a mass in the one uh, kilogram. Or we change how to calculate the Q. We can change the formula into the Q equal to M uh, times to the LF. Specific latent heat uh, for vapor, uh, uh, same, but uh, this one is uh, LV, so Q uh, to change uh, from the uh, water in the in the liquid, I mean, uh, mass, and uh, also Q, uh, how much per kilogram, eh? so different. Then how to calculate uh, latent uh, heat fusion and vapor. So, for ice, uh, same like uh, I mentioned before. Uh, so now, solid to liquid energy is needed to move the molecules slightly further apart. So that the attraction between the molecule is uh, weaker. So energy needed to break the thermonuclear bonds between the molecules of the solid. Actually, uh, in the solid uh, phase condition, uh, the material is. Uh, have one bonding, one bonding within the molecule. Sometimes two bonding uh, depend on the what the material type. So actually, the every molecule uh, will be uh, bond by one bonding uh, within the molecule. So like the gum, you know, something like that. And then when we try to change. Uh, from the solid into the liquid, we try to break up 
the uh, the bonding within the molecule. So what happen? Uh, if this bonding is break, so it will be changed into the liquid condition. So as we know, liquid is molecule is a part by part uh, itself uh, without the uh, structure of bonding. Uh, so easy to take. For example, if we have uh, water uh, in the jug, uh, something uh, have the more high place, maybe uh, like a swimming pool. Eh? We try to take one cup uh, the water from there, and then we try to to take that molecule of water. So actually, we don't we don't the bonding. So easy, easy to to take. It. Uh, so that's uh, the how to describe uh, uh, the depth the bonding. One no, the molecule can roll and slide over the other instead, just everything about fixed uh, position. So we can uh, from the uh, uh, that condition uh, already uh, release uh, the, the body. So just uh, because this uh, bonding, yeah, when we uh, uh, supply heat inside the solid of uh, condition, we give the uh, vibration, the thermal will be bright, we, uh, uh, give the wave, right? so the vibration will be happen inside. So like this. Right? If you can see inside, even in the uh, iron right? or metal, right? same condition. So we try to give the temperature and then the molecule will be vibrate and then they will make the body then then change the liquid. <coughs> liquid to gas energy is needed to separate the molecules again the mutual attraction at least more uh, 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 more micro uh, micro uh, compared to the, the solid, we try to change. Huh? So every single uh, molecule, uh, for example, H2O, H2O in the uh, solid condition, H2O, H2O, H2O molecule, and then join by uh, bonding, one bonding. So this one is uh, very free, rigid, uh, rigid, and then we, the condition, this condition is uh, solid condition. And then when the change into the liquid, this molecule is separate. H2O, this one, molecule with the H2O, another, is separating. In the gas condition, we try to uh, break up the H2O. Uh, H with O. Hydrogen with the oxygen. So, more in deep inside of the molecule, we change. So, we spread again. Okay, so H to be uh, one condition, oxygen is one other part condition. So change into the other uh, of uh, atom. Uh, from the molecule, we break to atom. Why atom? Uh, atom of uh, hydrogen uh, uh, and then oxygen. <coughs> In addition, in addition, extra energy needed for vapor to push back on the surrounding atmosphere. Uh, so we can, uh, uh, because uh, gas is, uh, you know, when it changes from the liquid into the gas, the volume will be, will be, should be uh, increased. Huh? So what happens if we still in the closed system, uh, the pressure will be higher. Uh, so if we change the, uh, from the liquid into the gas, the pressure will be higher because the volume will be increased. This is why LB is larger than the LF. 
So I will have LV of water is 2.3 times 2, 10 power 6 eh, joule per kilogram. Uh, this one is condition inside. Uh, uh, within condition, uh, some liquid already changed into the uh, vapor, some still in the liquid system. So this condition is still uh, uh, mixed eh, within the liquid and the uh, vapor condition. So this one we call the vapor mixture. So if we consider, uh, we plot the graph between the P or T into the volume. So this one is the saturated liquid. So uh, before the saturated liquid state is considered the solid here. And then inside here, already in the uh, liquid. So outside the line saturated vapor already changed into the vapor and then steam. After the steam. So in the side of the within uh, saturated liquid state and saturated vapor state, we have the vapor mixture. Maybe temperature here is uh, lower. Maybe the water condition is considered higher comparison. If we go to inside uh, more temperature, maybe the a vapor condition already a higher ratio uh, 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 the, uh, the liquid. This condition we can uh, calculate. Uh, mass total. So mass total is um, we can uh, we can. Uh, uh, measure the condition total, so the vapor compared to the total. So we can get the a value from 0 until to 1. Until to 1 eh? 0 to 1. So if 0, 0 is, is mean uh, vapor is 0. Uh, so nothing vapor. So it's mean, yeah, in the saturated liquid. If one, go one. So inside here is maybe zero some point something. Zero point something until to one. One already in the totally, uh, totally vapor. Okay. This how another type how to calculate uh, the X, uh, the mixture. We can use the table. Uh, we, if we measure the water, you can use the table of water saturation eh, to find uh, internal energy U in the uh, uh, liquid eh, and then the UFG inside, UFG is a mixture. Okay. So this one is uh, from that, uh, what I explained uh, is for how we uh, implement the Hasbeck system. Uh, what parameter uh, we uh, measure, uh, what properties in the uh, Hasbeck system to be measured, what the uh, condition should be maintained, what should, should be add, what should be reduced, something like that. That one we call properties. So we try to uh, follow these properties uh, to calculate the measure when we design the hatchback system in certain uh, building uh, application. So actually, for human comfort or occupant comfort, we can use this psycho 
psychometric uh, table, it is not table graph eh? uh, to measure the human comfort. Okay. Okay, everybody. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Uh, so, in the uh, comfort zone, uh, we can use psychometrics. Uh, uh, the scale uh, or the graph uh, to measure. To condition, to conditioning one, uh, one certain uh, application. <coughs> so, have you heard about the psychometric <coughs> graph? I think already in the in the uh, thermal thermodynamics. Have you heard uh, about this one? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so maybe already uh, familiar. Maybe I try to just uh, remind, uh, recall back your memory. Uh, what is the psychometric? Yeah? It involves determination of thermodynamic properties of gas, vapor, mixture. The most common applications associated with the air, water, vapor system. So what we actually control in by using psychometric, what we control? Any idea? Humidity. Humidity, correct. Another? Dry bulb, wet bulb. Oh, ah, yeah, correct. Any idea? Other? Apalagi? What else? Temperature also, yeah, dry bulb, uh, uh, wet bulb, uh, humidity, and then the metalfi. Uh, so specific humidity, relative humidity, yeah, we can control. <coughs> okay, condition the entalpy. Yeah. We can calculate uh, from the actually this one is ideal gas. Eh? We can calculate from the formula of ideal gas. Point, dew point, uh, dew point, pressure. Still from the ideal gas. This one is already changed. Eh? The formula into the capital V. So V, so the formula where we check TV equal to MRT. Relative humidity, we can uh, calculate eh? humidity, humid heat, specific volume. <coughs> this one is another example. It's very simple example how to implement the humidity by using the graph humidity. If we at least we have two two parameter uh, to determine another uh, properties uh, like uh, Taufi. Or uh, the uh, relative humidity or the humidity, what else? The red bulb, red bulb, anything. So at least we have two parameters here. So this one we have uh, wet bulb temperature and then also dry bulb temperature. So by this one we can plot another. Other properties. Okay, actually, this one eh, for complete information of uh, psychometric chart. Eh. 
have here. So, so many uh, line here, so many line. Uh, so we learn one by one uh, to measure or to determine eh, the condition of our room. So which uh, should be considered in the comfort zone. Okay, we go first. Uh, sorry, uh, this one. Uh, uh, in the uh, vertical, uh, vertical, vertical line, exactly vertical, 90 degrees. So this line is in form about dry bulb. So from the 20 until the 105. Uh, what is that dry bulb? You should be learned uh, actually before this. Uh, what is dry bulb? What is wet bulb? Do point uh, absolute temperature. And then in the I think 45 degree, yeah, uh, informed by the wet bulb. And then in the curve, a uh, slope of the curve is informed by the relative humidity and then in the horizontal line horizontal line but dew point uh, line and this one is a example one example it should be hard to measure and then you should define the every line if we meet one point and then we try to uh, determine other line condition. Yes. Like this. So, psychometric chart is make sure chart is appropriate for your woman. Figure out the what the what two quantities you know at least two. The just as mentioned. Understand from the chart. So every line with. Uh, uh, certain information, find intersection. Uh, this one is very difficult. Uh, should be find uh, uh, by eyes. Uh. So if you have mistake, uh, so the number will be changed. So example one, T uh, twenty-five. Uh, this one the absolute temperature and the wet bulb is uh, twenty degrees Celsius. So find. Uh, find the uh, A uh, uh, relative uh, humidity, uh, temperature uh, dew point, and then the, uh, this one is uh, absolute uh, absolute humidity, and then the volume specific specific volume. Uh, this volume is this one, and then the enthalpy enthalpy this one. So enthalpy. Uh, then uh, this one is the relative uh, relativity. Yeah. Then the slope is the humidity. Uh, this one is the HR. This one is absolute, absolute, absolute. This one, the humidity. And then this one, temperature of the wet bulb. Okay, we can refer by the graph. Sensible heating or cooling, psychometric process that involves the increase or decrease the temperature of air without changing its humidity ratio. So actually, this we try to control uh, the heating and cooling uh, condition inside of the uh, psychometric uh, graph. Eh? So we try to maintain of the humidity ratio but the temperature is changed. So how do we control uh, to control this one? 
So humidity is this one. So temperature is changed. But the absolute humidity is maintained. The ratio is maintained. So will be uh, In this range, if we want to keep the we change the humidity, we should be change this one, and then we change the uh, the temperature. So this one we call sensibility, heating or cooling. This one, okay. This one uh, more uh, clearly here. Yeah. The condition, but the enthalpy will be changed, but the uh, humidity ratio will be same. This condition to this condition. Heating medium, uh, heating medium. We try to implement by using cooling uh, coil, coil inside the duct or uh, AHU. This one condition we implement in the certain building what we want to control based on the security uh, graph. Security process that involve the simultaneous increase in both the dry bulb temperature and humidity ratio of the air. So the heating and humidifying, we try to change the uh, dry bulb uh, temperature and humidity ratio. If we try to uh, heating and humidifying control, so from this graph, uh, we can uh, set up in the hatchback system. Uh, we control the Bulb temperature and humidity, so we can change heating and humidifying. Two and half cubic meter. This one example. Lumber is being right in the 60 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature in the and 52 degrees Celsius wet bulb temperature. The drying rate of the lumber is 12.5 blah 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 so how much the side uh, air is needed to be need to carry away the evaporate moisture okay this one the condition what we want to control if we want to control the uh, drying eh, humidity should be lowering uh, the the middle absolute humidity then, if we want to dry uh, uh, the temperature, uh, so we increase the temperature. Okay. I think that's all uh, our class today. So, any question from you? I want to share something. Anybody? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. No, sir. No. Uh, no. Uh, sir. Yeah. Uh, as for the psychometry chat, uh, uh -huh. as we know that the refrigerants are different, so okay. uh, is it will be affected the chat or the gas no, no, itself? No, 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 no. Uh, this one is uh, for. Uh, uh, air measurement, uh, our uh, air measurement in the inside the building. It's not about the, the refrigerant. The refrigerant is closed system inside the hatchback. But this one is the air supply to the, the building. So different. So the refrigerant is inside, uh, inside the machine, inside there. Uh, but the psychometry chart is outside of the system of SBAC. So, uh, for example, in our room, uh, we measure in our room. Uh, so, what condition is comfort to us? Uh, so, 
what type of the refrigerant is a uh, is not effect. Uh, maybe if you want to use the uh, like the uh, this building, we use the water as a refrigerant, water chiller uh, in the room. But we try maintain the the uh, condition by psychometric chart is in our room. Uh, so, berapa? How much uh, uh, humidity? How much the uh, uh, temperature? Anything uh, inside here? Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome. Any else? Okay. Uh, one hour only. Uh, uh, maybe. If you want to share something, yeah, we have a much time uh, to finish our class. Maybe we can uh, discuss about the uh, next class. Eh? So any idea from you, if we change or uh, reschedule the time of our class, any idea? We so hard uh, at 10 in the early morning, we can change to the Maybe uh, eight uh, thirty or nine. Maybe if you have uh, uh, another class, maybe we can uh, uh, implement. Any idea? No. Ada ni? Ada. 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 Okay. So maybe. Uh, okay, okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, never mind. So maybe if I change, uh, I have uh, another plan. So I will mention. I will inform in the, our group. Uh, for example, if I change the class into the asynchronized, uh, in synchronized. So. Maybe I will inform you so you can uh, uh, and then I will give you uh, the task. This task will be considered if you submit the task. So I will consider you attend the class. You understand? You can. Uh, it's mean you already see the watch the video and understand. So yeah, I will inform you uh, later if I change the type of uh, method of uh, class okay okay if you don't have any question so I will uh, close our class uh, today our class today uh, see you uh, next week uh, in the next topic yeah Yes, salam alaikum and good morning all. Okay, sir. Thank you, 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 sir.